Gravity Industries has begun creating a jet-powered suit, or jet suit, that gives people the ability to fly personally. Jet-powered suits have the potential to reinvent human travel for things like wars and rescues. The military personnel around the world have their eyes on jet suits due to its innovative propulsion system. It is capable of accelerating the wearer to a speed of 88 kilometers per hour and has five mini turbojet engines, two on the arms and three on the back. Moreover, Jet suits can reach an altitude of 3,650 meters, making it useful for high reconnaissance and dodge missions. Jet suits can be controlled by controlling the arms and the body positioning. They can also change speed and direction. The aspect that makes jet suits so useful for dodging are their ability to maneuver in real time. Due to burn rate and weight of the pilot, jet suits have the ability to fly for five to 10 minutes. Military personnel have been very keen about jet suits since they were revealed at the Special Operations Forces Industry Conference. Potential applications encompass the swift deployment of individuals, navigation around obstacles, and reconnaissance activities in places that are normally unreachable. Meet the Flyboard Air the latest jet-powered flying platform that was designed by French inventor Frankie Zapata. Unlike traditional flight equipment, the Flyboard Air provides an individual pilot with unprecedented aerial maneuverability. His invention may transform military mobility. The recently built hoverboard-like device, powered by five turbojet engines, runs on kerosene fuel. It has a maximum flight altitude of 3,000 kilometers and a connected speed of 150 kilometers per hour. It can move a fully equipped soldier across challenging grounds, while its payload capacity is 120 kilograms. Controlling the Metro requires performing intricate balancing and automotive skills. A pilot maneuvers the device through body tilts, using a handheld controller for the most precise adjustments. Due to the skill required, training is an essential aspect of operating it. Because of its complexity and need for precision, it has primarily been used for military demonstrations and high-profile performances instead of widespread combat use. This was estimated at around $250,000 per unit. While its performance is impressive, challenges such as operational complexity, high fuel consumption, limited flight duration, and need for constant hovering all limit its military delivery. With characteristics similar to a transformer, the Germans from Rheinmetall Keiler have designed a new advanced demining vehicle, referred to as Keiler Next Generation. It is primarily meant for the guaranteed safe passage of troop movements through minefields and other challenging areas of the battlefield. It is expected to clear the mines and other obstacles in the way of combat units, more often than not, enabling them to navigate safely. Kyler NG is considered to be very efficient during active operations on the battlefield, and thus Nagav has termed it synonymously with modern warfare. While the vehicle is under combat conditions, it is equipped with the Pearson Mine Plow, which is intended for quick removal of barriers to enable safe passage, enabling the vehicle to maintain high speed and effectiveness while clearing the threat area. The vehicle is also capable of removing surfacing barricades that impede movement on the battlefield, like wire boundaries, as well as concrete block barriers, which makes it a formidable offensive tool. The versatility of the design enables combat units to advance in exposed positions without worrying about hidden booby traps. The fusion of modern battlefield technology with engineering advances gives birth to the Kyler NG, which features sturdy armor structure that enables the withstand rough conditions of combat. Panzer III Kodiak is an example of a new generation German engineering vehicle created by Rheinmetall. It integrates modern technology and a lateral thinking approach to develop a new German engineering vehicle aimed at accomplishing subsystems like mine clear, infrastructure repair and construction, breaching obstacles, and multi-role support to engage military units deep inside hostile territories. The Kodiak's Leopard, two main battle tank chassis, gives it unmatched off-road mobility, protection, 
and agility. This foremost Kodiak model improves the versatility of the military operations by providing engineering support thanks to its unparalleled functionality battling challenging Kodiak showcases, superb navigating skills over demanding military battlegrounds where Kodiak excels, especially in hostile rugged terrains. The superiority of Kodiak is complemented by its sturdy design, making it accessible and dependable under any combat conditions. The enhanced performance of the Kodiak is supported by an arsenal of advanced engineering equipment it is equipped with, which includes an adjustable bulldozer blade that can alter its height and inclination. The price of one Kodiak vehicle is between over 6 million euros and under 7 million euros on average. However, order quantity and configuration can vary the price. Mobile Communication Center, or MCC1, is an advanced mobile communication center with mobile coordination features designed for military commanders in combat zones. It uses a JELTS truck chassis, which has an LTIS mast, sophisticated ICT systems, and mobile command facilities. MCC-1 is equipped with advanced military ICT systems, ensuring seamless integration of Polish military operations and guaranteed connectivity during military operations. Polish armed forces provide multifunctional mobility class requirements. Thus, one of the main advantages of MCC-1 is its interoperability with existing communications infrastructure of other MCC classes operated by Polish armed forces. Center MCC-1 can maintain high quality of voice and data transmission without interruption, even under the most fierce changing combat conditions. The MCC-1 interface provides solutions for robotic battlefield environments. Mobility is another key aspect of MCC-1 design. It is mounted on a five-axle chassis truck, providing freedom of movement in numerous places, including urban and rough terrain. Because of this, military units can exercise command and control from any location during armed conflict. To enhance the crew's protection, the MCC-1 has armored cabins that are impenetrable to external access, ballistic, and explosive threats. The Rider is an advanced military transportation vehicle, notable for being able to transport it via air. It can be dropped from an airplane because of its strong and small frame, which allows for swift acceleration in different kinds of combat situations. Quick, strategic mobility serves airborne forces, best requiring rapid and agile transport solutions. The Geo Cinch Rider's key strength enhances superiority off-road capability, excelling mechanically. In addition to a tight turning radius, it has mechanical locking differentials, which guarantee better performance in rugged terrains. These attributes enable it to traverse difficult terrains. Traditional vehicles may find themselves unable to, making it highly beneficial for swift response missions. The rider has a payload capacity of approximately 900 kilograms, which makes it ideal for important supplies, equipment, or personnel. This is furthered by an attached trailer capable of hauling an additional 400 kilograms, which enhances logistical efficiency. The rider can be outfitted with two 7.62 mm caliber machine guns, providing some defensive capabilities in high threat zones. This also allows for the towing of a MO120 RT mortar, expanding the vehicle's tactical effectiveness in combat scenarios. Klassen's Storm Rider 4x4 is one of the most advanced armored personnel carriers due to unmatched protective features, which makes it all the more fearsome on the battlefield. It is designed to carry a crew of up to 10, while shielding them from ballistic IED and mine threats not lower than Stanag level. Storm Rider's safety features ensure the troops on board will remain safe even in violent combat zones. Blast mitigating V-Belly that redirects explosion forces away from the occupants is one of the exemplary features of safety. Bloat seats, energy absorptive terse, and foot pads. T-Bar all serve to enhance passenger protection alongside floating floors. They mitigate blasts to avoid severe injuries. The vehicle is meant for offensive and defensive maneuvers, allowing soldiers to tackle external threats while safely protected within the Storm Rider's monocoque hull. It is equipped with a permanent four-wheel drive, transfer case, along with multiple gun ports. Storm Rider boasts a powerful and dependable powertrain, 
which makes the vehicle agile and swift. Additional integrated combat modules, available as an option, provide increased firepower. Due to the extensive armor the vehicle contains, soldiers are able to rapidly exit in a matter of seconds, which aids in quick deployment. Its capability of transporting 11.5 tons allows the Storm Rider to deliver important personnel and materials to a mission area. An exceptional innovation in military vehicles is the FNSS Kaplan Hybrid. It incorporates a sophisticated hybrid powertrain to meet the standards of modern warfare. For enhanced military Kaplan Hybrid operations global, FNSS designed this vehicle to offer unmatched efficiency, power, and versatility in combat. One of the most remarkable features of the Kaplan is its hybrid diesel-electric propulsion system, which further enhances fuel efficiency. The vehicle's intricate software and electronics also optimize performance, allowing the vehicle to operate efficiently even in high-risk combat and reconnaissance scenarios. Quiet operation is a defining advantage of the Kaplan Hybrid. Unlike most military vehicles, the Kaplan can operate stealthily thanks to its electric motors. This feature is critical for covert maneuvers since it allows stealthy navigation near enemies. The Kaplan is also able to maintain stealth with low thermal signature operations. Weighing 20 tons, the Kaplan Hybrid also provides racing vehicle level rapid acceleration. This is made possible by the high torque of its electric motors at low speeds. Such performance is essential in ever-changing battlefield conditions. This vehicle will most certainly capture the attention of all paratroopers. The world's first military electrical scooter called Mosfera was developed by Global Wolf Motors situated in La Paz. This electric scooter has a number of multifunctional military capabilities, including patrol, border control, reconnaissance, medical evacuation, and other tactical maneuvers. Its construction is lightweight, yet highly durable ensuring optimal functionality in the most demanding operational conditions. Similarly to mountain bikes, the rugged design of the Mosfera scooters features a frame that is biomechanically engineered to withstand physically challenging terrains. The vehicle is equipped with front and rear suspension systems and 17-inch off-road tires, giving it access to harsher environments like deserts, forests, and even urban areas. Mosfera is equipped with a robust 10,000 watt electric motor that grants exceptional acceleration power and performs admirably. The scooter is powered by a high capacity 90 amp hour Panasonic battery and is able to reach impressive speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. With a single charge, the scooter offers a maximum range of 300 kilometers, making the scooter ideal for extended missions that don't frequently require recharge. It can work in temperatures as frigid as minus 60 degrees Celsius and as high as minus 2 degrees Celsius without giving up or overheating with temperature protection features built into the unit. The military buggy Escadron has been presented by the Russian corporation Introl. This multifunctional light combat vehicle is designed to transport airborne troops, particularly for reconnaissance and sabotage missions. In contemporary warfare, its compact form combined with high-speed mobility is advantageous during combat operations. Weighing a mere three tons and is designed for speed, Escadron also sprints at 150 kilometers per hour. This level of speed enable reconnaissance as well as surprise military attacks on rough terrains. Escadron commanders can terrain traverse claim is devoid of all natural hindrances. Increase operational mobility in battle zones and augment combat effectiveness are some of the phrases that describe its design. It is equipped with different types of arms, including 12.7 mm cord machine gun and Cornet anti-tank missile systems, augmenting its power towards enemy armor. These modifications make it equally effective against ground and other light armored threats and increases its utility during combat missions. The addition of a single-seat armored capsule for high-risk missions to some of the Escadron modifications enhances the protection of the operator for dangerous operations, 